Hey everybody, Chef Britt here with ATBBQ.com and today we are making quick bread. This quick bread is going to be a great utilization of products that you probably already have in your kitchen. This recipe that I developed is somewhere between an Irish soda bread and a Boston brown bread with a little bit of a change up. So let me show you how I do it. So I'm gonna start with two cups of this Antimu Caputo chef's flour. All right, and to get rise for this bread, I'm going to use one heaping teaspoon of baking soda and a good pinch of kosher sea salt. And then we're just going to sift this together very thoroughly until all of that baking soda is evenly distributed. And now to get our wet ingredients, we need something acidic to sort of activate that baking soda. So I'm going to measure out one and a half cups of buttermilk. Now you can use yogurt if you need, um, or even uh, acidified milk by adding lemon juice to that. But really buttermilk's probably gonna give you your best rise. All right, now in my trials, um, I was adapting a Boston brown bread recipe which uses molasses. Um, so we're gonna be using the Plowboy's Bean Buddy. And this is gonna give us some great flavors uh, as long as, as well as the sweetness, I should say. And we're just gonna mix those all together. Now if you're in a bind, you can absolutely use something like ketchup. And I know this just seems really weird, but it ends up working in the end. All right, now we are going to pour it all in. And we're just gonna mix this until it barely comes together. So it's gonna be a pretty wet dough but it's pretty much there. You really wanna handle this dough as minimally as possible. Um, if you were to over create that gluten, then it would end up having like a tougher and chewier crust. So we're going to just go right into our um, prepared pan now. All right, so we're going right into our 10 inch lodge skillet here. I'm just going to flatten out just a little bit. but I'm not trying to spread it out too much. And then with wet hands, I'm just gonna come through and sort of smooth it out a little bit. And then we'll just give it a little score across the top. Let's head out to the smoker. So today I'm working with the Yoder Smokers YS640S pellet grill. I've got it set to 350 degrees and stock full of pecan pellets. Let's get it in. I'm just gonna go down low away from that direct heat source and we'll check on it in about 25 minutes. All right, so it's been about 35 minutes. I came through at 25 and just rotated things a little bit, so let's check it out. All right, let's see, let's, let's temp it here. So we're looking for something probably closer to 200. I think we're right there. It's also got a nice firm touch. Is it bread? Is it a biscuit? Yeah, it's both. Check that out. Let's just see how it tastes. I'm getting a lot of savory flavors out of this. Let's give it a look. Actually, it's really quite pleasant. Mm. Yeah, I'm getting some kind of tomatoey flavor. I'm getting some garlic. I feel like this bread could actually hold up to something like bacon or cheese in there too. So this is just a really great quick bread. Duh. All right, well that was a fun little experiment. I, uh, I think I'm gonna probably continue using the bean buddy instead of ketchup in the future. You just get a lot more flavor. I'm definitely gonna add some other inclusions. Um, but it's a really great base recipe if you've got limited ingredients and sort of limited baking experience. But if you want to check out some more bread recipes, I highly suggest going over to atbbq.com slash the sauce, and you can see all the cool breads that we've made in the past. 
And if you want to check out any of the products we use today, head on over to atbbq.com. All Things Barbecue, where barbecue legends are made.